Hey guys, Luis here, and I just wanted to uh, let you guys know that we have about 100 days of the year left. And today in a marketing class I had, I found out a weird stat that I'm not sure if it's true or not, but it's coming from the instructor, and this is a highly reliable source. But it seems that if you want to be in the top 10% of agents nationwide, you have to sell five houses that is ridiculous i didn't expect that selling five houses it, it still seems you're gonna be broke unless these five houses are like 500k and above homes i mean how could you make a living off that <clears throat> so that's insane five houses to be in the top 10 percent of agents nationwide you know what that says to me that says to me that there's a lot of dead weight out there and if all these folks that aren't going to take it seriously get out that's going to make life better for all of us. I'm not talking about competition because those folks that make five or less listings or sales a year, you know, they're, they're not competition. They're just, they're just there along for the ride to see what happens. Uh, they think they can do it, but they go about it the wrong way. So what I wanted to tell you is there's 100 days left, give or take, maybe 105. I don't know my math. So in these last 100 days, what you have to do is don't stop and if you follow me or if you do what I do which is prospecting daily you should be pounding the phones every day because you know what you know how many agents I know out there that from September or the middle of September right after Labor Day weekend they just pack it up and go they're done they're done for the year you know what it's your time to shine it's your time to pick up pick up and dominate your area it's your time to pick up those phones and make 400 calls a day all right so <clears throat> don't wait <clears throat> excuse me go, don't wait for business go out and get your business all right i mean you could do flyers mailers they could work but you know what does work the phones if you hit the phones daily it's gonna work it might take some time but as long as you add those contacts to a database and keep on feeding it daily you know you'll get exponential returns down the road it's like a it's like farming you know you gotta sow the seeds so to speak so just make sure you hit just review your goals for the year because there's a hundred days left if you're short uh you know just pick it up pick up the phones who cares what other people are doing i know it's football season cares most of your teams are going to be done by week three week four so let's so pick up the phones who cares about football season it's your season get something done another uh thing i should tell you is that if you do use a like a a service like vulcan 7 red x mojo <clears throat> make sure you record all your calls that that uh that come online all right and then replay them. Replay those calls and see what you did wrong. Kind of like, like even football, like when Eli Manning throws an interception, which if you guys know, Eli is, has now been benched, unfortunately. I would have stayed with him for the season, but I don't know. It's his last season, but whatever. Anyway, every single time he throws a pick, what's he doing? He's reviewing the play to correct his mistakes. So what you can do is record these calls. After you're done with your cold calling session, you might have 30 minutes of review. Review, jot down what they said, those objections they, they mentioned, and see how you could turn it around next time. All right, it's a learning experience. You know, practice your scripts, that's great. But if you record your calls and review them, you're gonna become a better agent. Because then you'll say, damn, I messed up. I shouldn't have said that. And next time it's going to be here. And you're going to say the right things to hopefully get an appointment. And if not, to get an email and a future contact, maybe a referral. But make sure you record your calls. All right? So again, review your goals for the rest of the year. If you're... Look at your New Year's resolutions or the goals you wrote down for the year. If you did. If you did and you're an idiot, okay? You must set goals especially in business all right so now's your chance to pick up 
pick up the pace. Now's your chance to go and get some more listings while every agent out there is not doing anything. If you get five listings between now and the end of the year, you're in the top 10%. I really want to know what the 1% is for being a realtor, okay? Another point I wanted to bring up is stick to follow-up. Once you get these contacts, add them to your database. Don't forget about them. Like, like I, I, I'm to blame as well because I've let contacts sit on my desk for weeks without putting in a database. And when I reached out to them, they went with another agent. Why? Because I wasn't organized. So organize yourself. Once you're done with your cold calling session, if you have five contacts, one contact, 20 contacts, who cares? Add them to your database. Schedule a follow-up call, all right? Uh, my last point is stay committed to this, all right, guys? I mean, if you, if you, if you sincerely want to succeed in this, you have to stay committed and you have to push yourself. Push yourself every single day. I mean, you got you to gotta keep plugging away every single day. You know, it's your, it's, it's your chance to outwork the competition. So stay committed. Make one more call. Make one more call, all right? If you're tired mentally, just make another call. If you didn't get any listings or any, sorry, any appointments all day, make another call, okay? Live by that mantra. Make another call. If you're uncomfortable, that's good because you're growing. It means you're growing, but just make another call, all right? Talk to you soon, guys.